Hey everybody, welcome in. Let me just go ahead and get some folks in here. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good. Let me just make sure I got one more person here. How is everybody doing? Good. Good. Hi. All right. Hey. All right. So everybody is here so we can go ahead and get started. Um for those of you who are familiar, I am your host, uh, Vanessa McGee. I'm the account manager for Oakland First Fridays, and my lovely co-host today. <laughs> you can Hi, go ahead and introduce everybody. yourself. My mm -hmm. name is Janina. I am a new staff member with Oakland First Fridays. I do digital marketing and social media. So if you ever DM us, it's most most likely me answering. So it's nice to see, maybe put a face to the name. Um, so I'm happy to be here and happy to meet both of you. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, so let's go ahead and introduce our guests of the hour. Uh, we'll start with LC. All right, my name is LC and I'm the owner of the Melanin Art Collective. Nice. And Hi, I'm Nisha. Um, I'm the owner of Black Excellence Wine Co. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so ladies, welcome, welcome in. We are really excited to have you guys, um, not just as vendors, but just as wonderful women in business, boss girls, okay? Um, so <laughs> let's just get into a little bit um, about what type of business you have and what kind of services and goods you have to offer. Okay, so- Either um, one you can start. So I own a black owned wine business. Um, it's a private wine label. Um, I do sell wine. I have three varietals. And again, we're called Black Excellence Wine Co. So we do have rosé, which is a bubbly. Um, we also have Caprion, which is you know, our red wine. And then we also have our Chardonnay. So these are the three varietals that we do sell. Um, we will add other varietals later on down the line, but so far this is what we what we have. And Misha, is your um, business uh, Oakland based? Fishman, but I operate in Oakland. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, Elsie, what is your business and what do you do? So I'm a full-time artist and entrepreneur. Um, I also host sip and paint uh, workshops and events. Um, I make all handmade items out of resin, and I also make paintings as well, too. Oh, and I'm nice. Oakland-based, Oakland-based artist. I do all most of my events in Oakland as well, too. Nice. So um, how long have you been in business, Elsie? So I've been working for myself for about three years just as a full-time artist, um, but I've oh, okay. been doing art for about like five plus years. Okay. And is this um, your sole in, like, income or do you work a regular job as well? This is like my full-time job is event planning, um, doing art classes and vending and just doing like commission pieces full-time. Nice. Um, how about you, Misha? Um, so how long have you been in business? It's been a over a year now that I started this business. Um, it's my full-time thing. I did recently, I did leave my, my job, um, about a year ago to pursue my wine business and fully focus on that. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. I think that's awesome when people can say they step out on faith yeah. and go after their dream. Like it, it's, that's really big. It takes a lot of courage to be able to walk away from mm -hmm. something that's <laughs> secure, so to speak. Um, Definitely. And really try to stand on, you know, what you believe in. So I think that's great. Um, so, Elsie, I know in particular you have been a participant at Oakland Fresh Fridays um, mm -hmm. for a while now. Um, how did you first get connected with us? So, I used to visit um, Oakland Fresh Fridays just as, like, you know, a visitor, 
uh, checking out the vendors, just actively like participating in supporting the vendors. Um, and then the pandemic happened. So I was mm -hmm. able to kind of work on my craft during the pandemic. And then I think the first time I saw you guys post something, I'm like, I have to try to like apply to get in there. So yeah, I started yes. off visiting and now I'm a vendor. At, like I think, um, yeah, since you guys first started back up after the pandemic. So it's been really nice to actually, you know, be a part of yeah. what's going on. That's really, really great. So um, Misha, I know you're one of our newer partners um, um, and you're gonna be working with us um, on an upcoming event. Um, but given that you are born and raised in Oakland, what is your experience um, with First Friday? It's, it's been always like? been a great experience. I actually lived around the corner from First Friday when it first started years of years ago. So I was able to just walk over there and, um, you know, see what the vendors were, the food, try all the new foods and things like that. I've always had a great experience at First Fridays. We were really sad when it when it shut down yes. for a while. So yes. really great sad that it's back up here. Oh, you know? I know. So I know. <laughs> And I'm not just saying that because I work there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you know, we work hard, but we play hard too. Like, I actually really enjoy um, the event as a whole. Mm -hmm. It is it is a lot of work, but um, when I get out there and I see the people who are attending and the vendors participating, it makes all the hard work worth it. So um, I have to agree. I'm, I was sad when it was mm -hmm. close to, and I'm glad we're back, right? So um, our event um, next week is going to be themed around Oakland Proud, which is kind of a spinoff of Oakland Pride because September is Oakland Pride um, and has been for a while. Um, but for us, it's like we want to be all inclusive and it's not just all about um, the LGBTQ community, but also just being a proud per person of Oakland. Um, just the whole diversity of it the culture the businesses just the overall variety it's just a vibe right so if you've ever been to first fridays or you ever been to oakland you know it's just it's different it's something different about it um the people that are from oakland are truly truly mm -hmm. passionate about their city um mm -hmm. you know everybody reps where they're from wholeheartedly so it's definitely um a vibe so for you as a uh, an individual as a business owner what would you say is your proudest moment as a oakland business owner as or as just watching just everyone come general. together and seeing how many um new establishments we have developed here in oakland there had there are a lot of hidden gems that we don't know about mm -hmm. that has recently developed here in oakland and um i, I just think it's a great thing for us yeah i agree i feel like you know oakland is mm -hmm. sometimes slept on but we have so many great people here that are you know really trying to mm -hmm. do great things in the city so for me it's kind of like helping to keep the city mm -hmm. like alive yeah. you know yeah so when you think of it in terms of your business what would you say so far as the journey has started from when you were you know, just had your vision uh, to when you actually stepped out and, and made it happen. What would you say is your proudest moment? Um, as a <laughs> my owner? proudest moment is when I got that liquor license in my hand. And I'm, okay, it's a go. You know, <laughs> and I, yeah, actually, like when I partnered with Black Vines, I don't know if you guys know who Black Vines mm -hmm. is. Um, they're like the largest standing Black wine festival in the country, and um, when I partnered with mm -hmm. them, like that was it. Like I knew that that's I'm established now, and I actually have an event with them tomorrow. So pretty excited. Nice. What about you, Elsie? And for me, um, I actually got some really big news. Um, so next month, my art is going to be in hey. TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Um, and I was Ooh. able, thank you. Um, I was able to like, I'm gonna have a sleeve on the painting, so it'll say, you know, Oakland based artist, you know, all that stuff. So I just feel like, you know, it's, it's, yeah, that, that awesome. was a, a really big deal for me. And I, being that, able to put a that face is to really the art, big. Um, that's really big. I'm, I'm super proud of you. Um, I'm proud to, to just be able to say that, you know, just 
Oakland in general has been a part of creating that, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it has been a platform for you to be able to um, expand your business like that. Like that's huge. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Congratulations. Like, big shout Thank out to you. you. Yeah. And they actually, um, they actually found me on social media. So they reached out to me. I had so many people like sharing my art. That's why I like to live paint because a lot of people share me mm -hmm. and it just kind of helps promote me as a business owner. Um, so, you know, yes. thank you to whoever was posting me, um, you know, the photographers at first Friday, the videographers, just, you know, whoever was doing the posting because it really was helpful. Oh, wow. That's, I mean, see, this, this is this kind of information right here that really, mm -hmm. um, really does something to me because, um, being able to actually, um, talk to the business owners and get that inside scoop and know that um i've been a part of that process for you yeah. um, and that the organization that i'm with um has created that platform that has allowed you to blossom and grow like that's a huge compliment um oh, to yeah. me and to my team like like that's really exciting so i'm really really happy for you yeah you know i'm super grateful just for um you know the platform that first friday has provided for me as an artist and a business owner yeah so with that being said um when you think about um, either some advice that somebody may have sat you down and given you, or maybe some advice that you just kind of have come up with on your own um, as you've gone through the process, um, if you were to talk to somebody who is, is on the verge of launching a business, or maybe they just have an idea that they are wanting to turn into a business, but they're kind of like afraid to take that step, what would you what would you tell that person um for me i would say i would tell people to just try like i honestly meet a lot of people at first friday that come up and they tell me that they're nervous you know to put them put their selves mm -hmm. out there like they're scared about tabling um i just tell people to try and just go for it you know you don't want to regret trying i feel like the best the least you can do is try and then you know see what happens um but for me i just you know, try to encourage people to just, you know, put themselves out there and just try their best because you really don't know what can come from it, you know? That's really good. I agree with everything what about you're you saying. Um, I mean, first and foremost, just do it, you know, do the research, figure out, get a, a business plan, you know, and just do it. I mean, it either is or it isn't going to be. But again, like she said, at least you try, you know, and it can get discouraged and I get discouraged all the time. You know what I'm saying? But I created this business and I got to keep going. Mm -hmm. I got to keep. My goal is to one day be yeah. in the store as well. I'm trying to be in Target. Mm -hmm. I have all the grocery stores. All yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 It's definitely time, possible, so, you know. You know um, I've only been in this for one year, so yeah, I got a ways to go. Yeah, I think I think for me, I would just say um, mm. network. Um, you never know. You never know where a conversation could take you to. Um, whenever there's an opportunity for you yes. to show up, show up. Um, make sure that you always represent yourself the best of your ability um, because you are your brand um, and you represent yourself. So show up, mm -hmm. show up confident, show up with your contacts so that you can, you know, shake hands, make friends, because a lot of times you never know, but it might be that person that you meet that'll be that connection you need to get you in the door. Um, so I, I definitely say yeah. network, show up. That's my biggest thing. And of course, you can't, you cannot ever perfect it. So if you're sitting around waiting on things to be perfect, or if you to have everything together, you will never have the right time to step out and do it. Because the only way you're going to be able to perfect it is to get out and try it, apply it, make mistakes, correct the mistakes. So, you know, you guys are giving out good information yeah. too. I, I agree with that. Um, I know that 
one of the biggest things that we pride ourselves on as an event is mm -hmm. just being that platform. Uh, we want to create that space for the small business to come and grow. It's, it's huge to us to be able to give everyone a, a fair chance to come out and participate and take advantage of the platform that's been created. Um, so I'm, I'm, really really excited to have you all as a part of this um i thank you for every contribution you guys give i appreciate all of our food vendors who donate every month food vouchers for our volunteers and our event staff everybody plays a part this event is a community event um yes there's structure but this event was created by the community it's going to stay alive by the community and together we all you know play a moving part so i appreciate everybody you know does their part in this event and with that being said um we have been trying really really hard over the last couple months to try to make first friday a more sustainable event because the costs have risen on us way faster than we can adjust to um but because we have been making such a huge effort to fundraise to launch different campaigns and and applying for grants and and looking for sponsors um we were originally um due to have our last event in october but now because of everybody's help we have at least been able to uh extend through the end of the year and if you continue the efforts that we have been making um you know we'll That's just awesome. continue to keep being here um so i thank everybody who has donated everybody who has you know shared our our uh, GoFundMe, our Cash App, who's encouraged the next person to donate, even mm -hmm. when they couldn't donate themselves. Um, you know, we've got, we started doing t-shirts. We, we do have our GoFundMe. We have Cash App now. Um, but our latest fundraising effort is our upcoming paint and sit. So, um, both of these wonderful ladies um, are active participants in that upcoming event. Um, so, I want to um, I'll let Janina share a little bit about the details as to where it's going to be, when it's going to be and all, and then we'll let them dive into okay. what they have to yeah. offer. So we're event. really excited to host our latest fundraising event, which is the Paint and Sip with Elsie and Nisha. It's going to be taking place the second Friday of the month not first friday but next friday so we've kind of themed it around ice cubes next friday trilogy and we're really really excited because we have a lot of like themes a lot of like uh inside jokes from the movie so we're really excited to host everybody so that's going to be september 9th from 6 to 10 p.m at the we work here in oakland yeah. off of broadway yeah. Um, if you go to the Oakland First Fridays Instagram, the link for ticket is in our bio. And we also have a giveaway for a free ticket um, where we where you share, like, and tag three friends who might be interested in joining you on that evening. Um, Elsie and Misha, can you kind of walk us through what uh, participants might expect on that night? Uh all right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, so they are going to be getting a really nice pre-sketched um, canvas. And then I'll be kind of there to help guide people um, when it comes to like the details of the painting and, you know, kind of do like a step-by-step. -step. Also, I'll be doing a live painting as well, too. Um, and you'll be just be able to take home something really nice and something, you know, to be proud of, you know, you can put it up in your home. Um, so yeah, I would definitely encourage people to come out, you know, and give it a try. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to have any experience in painting or art. Um, you know, it's really mm -hmm. just have a good time, help fundraise and, you know, to, mm -hmm. to take home something nice. Okay. Yeah. And then, so, yes. um, with that, we're also going to, so with the sip and then of course, that they um they will receive a free glass of whatever varietal that they choose, whether it's the red, white, or the rose, um, to start off with their sipping and painting. And then after that, we will do um cups by the glass and also um flights, so they can do all three if they would like to. Um, and then they'll we will also have so awesome. Yes. And I just want to say that this right. is not a woman's only <laughs> event. Yes, we are all women here. 
Um, but this is a perfect, you yeah. know, outing for a group of friends, a date night, friends um, night. whatever. Everybody is welcome. Yeah, um, we'll see that. This, oh, nice. yeah, that's what we're paying for the night. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this, Elsie, did you want to um, tell them um, the special thing about this particular painting? You want to tell them the secret? <laughs> you said the secret? Did you want to tell them what, what's going to happen with that particular painting? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so this painting is an original, and we're actually going to be raffling this painting off. Um, so you have the chance to win an original painting. I hand painted this myself. Um, and then I think there's also an option for people to um, do this mm -hmm. at home if you want to like take home a kit, yeah. you can as well too. Yes, so. so we have the in-person tickets, which you can purchase on Eventbrite, but we also have take-home kits, which are also available on Eventbrite. And with the take-home kits, you'll get still a pre-traced canvas and you get all the supplies you need to paint this at home. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And special shout out to Flax Art um, and as well as Blick Art because both of those um, companies have donated to um, help us with the supplies, to cover the supplies. Also, shout out to WeWork um, who's helping us with the space. And then, of course, LC, our wonderful artist, um, and then Misha and Black Excellence Wine, who's going to be our wine distributor for that evening. Um, and then also, there's going to be a bunch of um, vendors that are going to be um, donating some prizes for us to have some little fun giveaways. And then we also will have some little goodie bags for everybody to take home that'll have some things in there from different vendors. So it's going to be a really fun evening and I really look forward to it. Um, Janina actually has a little bit of information yep. on some sponsorship opportunities right. and some marketing opportunities. So, so go ahead and let them know about that. So if you are a vendor watching and you're interested in donating and helping support this paint and sip, um, we do have a vendor promo. So if you donate um, some sort of goods or products um, and you can include your business cards we'll include those in all of the bags um, we will feature you on our instagram we have two tiers um, that you can choose from and then we will work collaboratively to see how we can fit you into um, those posts um, we definitely want to have your voice heard so this is definitely a collaborative process we would love to hear from you and we want to showcase your voice um, you can see that post or have more information on our Instagram. Um, and I just want to say thank you to all the vendors who have reached out so far. I can tell you guys right now, like you guys are in for some really good bags. So I'm really excited to see if anybody else is interested in this opportunity. Yes. And if any vendors want to donate, um, mm. items for our prizes um, you're more than welcome to drop those off you can DM us um, and you can drop them off at the office um, no later than um, Tuesday the, the 6th is it the 5th yeah. yes <laughs> I'm like I Tuesday the 6th yeah. <laughs> right okay <laughs> yeah so no no later than Tuesday the 6th um, that way we'll have enough time to actually, we're going to have volunteers come out to actually um, put those bags together. So we want to make sure we have enough time to get everybody's um, stuff together. Um, so yes, yes, yes. Um, LC and Misha, thank you, thank you, thank you so mm -hmm. much for taking the time to talk with us. Um, and again, thank you for your contribution to our latest fundraising campaign. We appreciate you so much. Um, did you guys have anything that you wanted to say? Oh, no, but before thanks we for having out? me. Can't wait, you guys, and get this mm -hmm. uh, sip and paint pop in. Where yes. can I? Where, where I am are you doing be at um, a rose sangria and bubbles event. Um, it's a private event um, hosted by Black Vines. It's in Oakland. They're also on um, oh, nice. on the third okay. next next Saturday in Napa. So I'll be there as well. Nice, nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Janina, did you have any um, last things to say? Go ahead and buy your paint and sip ticket now before it sells out. Yes. But um, in the case that that you're a little worried, go ahead that and uh, enter that giveaway too. So all of our instructions are on yeah. our Instagram. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And if you have any questions, you're not yep. sure on how to do something, you could DM us. Janina is really good at responding and yep. she'll get you all the information you need. Yes. Thank all you both right. for all the work that you do with First Fridays. 
very oh, appreciated. You know, you know <laughs> it really is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies, so you have a wonderful rest of your evening and I will see Elsie. We'll see you next Friday at our yeah. upcoming event. All right. And Misha, we'll see you in two All weeks. Right, everybody. Have a good All night. All right. Good night, ladies. Bye. <laughs>